Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the series strategy gamer, and we're returning to Rule the Waves 2. We have just beaten the Soviets in a very strong struggle in the Baltic Sea. We've sunk basically all of their battleships. No, not basically, indeed, all of their battleships. So that is certainly a very nice uh, result. We did take some damage in, in um, turn, some in particular on our battle cruisers. So these will be out of play for at least two turns. And I think that is a very nice chance to actually rebuild them. So if we are taking them into dock anyway, uh, let's actually give them the electro-optical director that's going to, of course, increase the time that they're going to be out to, to four months. Uh, but I think that's well worthwhile. I mean, if they are out anyway, I think that's good. Uh, we should also at least potentially increase the number of guns over here somewhat. 48, does that make sense? I think it does. So that's 12, 12 medium anti-aircraft guns per director. So pretty much three three quadruple mounts. I think that's a good um, good layout. Uh, this will mean we are slightly overweight, um, but there's not much that we can do about that. We could reduce the amount of guns, uh, rounds per, per gun, but I don't think that's uh, feasible. It will also push up uh, the time to do these things. So that's fine. Uh, we are going to do this and we are going to send you be repaired or refit uh, and the same here for the independence you also are going to get the upgrade right uh, the battleships themselves i would like to keep them in play for now so we are not going to do any upgrade there um, and that should be fine we are losing a lot of money now but i think that's soon gonna uh, be fine because we are rebuilding a couple of ships and or building a couple of ships and that should be okay um, since we have won so drastically in the North Sea, I think we can withdraw some of our forces. Um, and in particular, let's take out these light these light uh, carriers here and we're going to move them back towards the East Coast. Uh, I don't think we, they are needed anymore and maybe they are light, slightly too vulnerable uh, at this moment. So yeah, I think it's okay if we move them out. I also realized that there are quite a couple of the read classes here on the East Coast, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. I think they're pretty new, so let's move these guys towards Northern Europe. And then what we can do is move the flosses back to the East Coast. I think that's a, that's a good trade. Right, there we go. Fantastic, good stuff. Okay, next turn then. Ooh. So the Soviets are beating us on land, but we have, I mean, we are seriously, seriously better um, than they are. Blockade, blockade. Enemy submarine has torpedoed something. It's going to be and sunk a corvette. That's not good. Coastal raid. That's our coastal raid against them. Okay, let's take it. Um, and I would like my ships, uh, my aircraft, my land-based aircraft to suppress enemy airfields. Right, so we don't... Ooh. Really? This is a very small battle. Do we have... No, we have no forces other than these two light cruisers. The San Diego and San Antonio. Okay, at, at least they are fairly modern. Uh, but, oh my. Okay, so let's give them maximum speed and let's try to get there. Uh, this might be a disaster. No, I don't want to re launch any float planes. Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be interesting. So let's see whether we can get there. Ooh, it's going to be night. Well, that's at least an advantage. And um, let's dial down on the speed a little bit so that these guys can stick closer together. Why are you so far away? You are in a line ahead formation, so I'm not entirely sure why that should be so. Right, let's go to normal speed over here and see whether anything is going to happen. I mean, being here at night... The good thing is they lost all of their battleships and all of their cruisers. Uh, so that's pretty good. Okay, there they are. Let's get over there. I also think we have automated guns, right? Doesn't say over here, but I think we should. This is a fairly slow ship. Not sure what it does over here. Oh, and now it's night, so... Indeed, these are two ships, so... We are going to have to see whether we can do anything against them. I would venture the guess that these are probably destroyers. Are we causing some damage at least? Let's go to max speed over here. 
try to catch them. We are in fairly close formation anyway. Certainly not seeing any any hits, but that doesn't say that there are none. Well, there we go. Now we are extremely close to them. And we are firing and hitting them very hard, but indeed we've sunk it without ever identifying it. That's somewhat somewhat funny. And we are using, by the way, our radar, uh, obviously our radar fire control, so that's nice to see. Uh, so they are still around. I'm afraid they might be launching torpedoes on us. Okay, so we've sunk two ships. It's early night. Okay, let's come over here. Let's try to find further ships. Ooh. But we don't have to overdo this. Um, I'm more concerned about losing my light cruisers, uh, which are going to take a long time to replace. And these are fairly modern ones. These are the S-Class, the Sun-Class. And they were fairly, fairly well uh, received by our Navy. Okay, let's use all of our guns on this guy. I think it's a merchantman. Yeah, we're even launching a torpedo. You're making short work of these guys. But yeah, well maybe their their carriers are bound somewhere in the region. It would be nice, but I don't think we can speculate on that, you know. So uh, we fulfilled our objective, so this is going to be a small battle. Uh, but let's get out of here. Before we before we get into further trouble... Uh, and meet someone much bigger than we are, so I don't think that's worthwhile at all. We are going to try to withdraw. I think we can go to Ultra. Oop. Or maybe not, because we are finding some unidentified shipping over here. Let's see. That's a lot of these guys. I, I, I count at least four ships here. Um, and we do need to change course a little bit, otherwise we are at the risk of of being torpedoed. I'm very skeptical what these guys are. They are probably destroyers in these numbers. But we don't know. Oh, we are actually launching torpedoes on them. That's that's interesting choice. There we go. There we go. Some good hits on this guy. Further hits. Someone is coming up towards us here. Okay, let's actually sail around. We are wasting some of our ammo. Well, not wasting. I mean, we are scoring hits here, so it's just as good. But I would really like to see what we are engaging over here. Well, the disadvantage of the of the automated guns seems to be we are launching torpedoes. If we are launching torpedoes, they might as well. So, you know what, let's try to disengage over here. I'm not sure it's worthwhile to try and catch these guys. Yeah, okay, so let's just disengage. Maybe we cause enough damage for them to be going down anyway over time. Let's see. Yeah, disengage successfully. Let's dial down on the speed so that these guys do keep together and that should be alright. Good, making some good progress here. Game seems to be lagging a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to put in a small cut. Right, uh, we were disengaging, so let's do this again. Running away over here ultra fast. This doesn't feel ultra fast. A little bit, little bit choppy actually, but I don't think we are going to find anyone over here, so uh, this battle should soon be concluded. And I'm really intrigued to see what we have actually sunk over there. It must have been must have been probably destroyers. I don't expect too many corvettes to be out here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see about that. Right? Uh, yeah, we do want to end the scenario. So yeah, again, it was probably probably for the best to not have uh, stuck around because there weren't any carriers over here. It's still a major victory. Uh, let's look at the ships that were sunk. A couple of destroyers, corvettes. Uh, nothing too too big over there so you know what that's fine I uh, didn't really need to do anything the transport ship even that's nice to see right so yeah you received three medium hits and that already sunk you <laughs> lovely near miss near miss near miss limits flooding yeah okay good uh, small battle but you know what still interesting let's leave the scenario some victory points good 
they are being blockaded. Uh, the Soviets did announce that they would fight this war to the end, um, which I think is very close. Uh, but still, that's interesting to see. Okay, we've got the rain, the Enterprise actually, uh, which is ready to move towards Northern Europe, I believe. So let's do that. It has finished its working up. So that's great to see. Um, and ooh, I should actually restart my timer. Um, yeah, so we've got the... That's a good number of ships that we've got over here. You're on the East Coast. You are in Northern Euro Europe still. So... I think we could potentially move some of our ships um, and ar array them somewhat against Japan because I would like to fight Japan. They do have uh, a number of aircraft carriers and it would be sort of interesting to do this. So, um, you know what, let's let's actually do that. Let's take the Arizona. You're on the East Coast, that's all right. Um, along with, I guess, the Raleigh's and the Saratoga. And a couple of destroyers, maybe some pluser classes. Maybe these hull classes. No, you're on trade protection, okay. So no, the flosser classes then. Let's take, oh, I don't know, seven. Yeah, I think that's all right. And you're going to be moved towards Southeast Asia. So not quite a, a directly vis-a-vis Japan, but somewhat close to their uh, base of operation, so so that should be fine. Corvettes are commissioned. Soviet Union is being blockaded. That's lovely. Small engagement. Eh, that's accepted. They're declining it. Okay, fine. Uh, some of you guys have finished it. They're working up, haven't you? No. Okay. That's all right, then. Ships under construction. We are losing money, but again, I think it's going to be all right. We are building an, another entire... We are building two aircraft carriers, actually. So it's all right that we are losing money in that regard. What have they got? I think the Soviets are building up an enormous amount of of submarines, actually. That is slightly slightly um, troubling. Ooh, improved, an, uh, improved anti-submarine warfare. That's nice. Explosive shells. Food is becoming scarce in the USA. I don't believe that. Another coastal raid, medium size. They're gaining victory points. Why should we be suffering from food shortages? I have some troops down here. A carrier. Interesting. We could try to hunt them. Well, right, let's first try to get over here into this region and then we are see we're gonna see where they are going. Potentially they're taking this weird route around the well, if they are taking that weird route, we might try to intercept them over here. Well, if they're going over here, we are going back to the U.S. coast. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. More condenser trouble enables angled flight deck. Ooh, lovely. I think that does increase our spotting abilities. Lots of ships sunk. Enemy submarines sunk too. Ooh, let's fight this. Unknown radar contact. Yes, indeed. So we've got the Rochester. That's a Raleigh-class ship, isn't it? Yeah. Now the Raleigh is slightly better, this, actually, than the compared to the San classes. Soon going to be night. Uh, what's your gun range? This, and this is your radar range. And let's go to max speed. And yeah, we can actually do five minute turns, I guess. Are we gaining on them? I think we are. We might do a little bit more of a due eastern course to intercept them, maybe. Yeah, but the rain is reducing our visibility. Hmm. Not sure we, whether we are gaining on them, actually. Wait, we are shooting at least, so yeah, it seems like we are gaining on them. Let's go a little bit more like that. Have we been hit? No, it's just one of your turrets got stuck. Well, that's an unopportune moment for that. Not sure whether we are causing any damage over here. Now it's proper night. Well, it doesn't matter. Visibility is zero anyway. We're shooting basically blind. 
um, simply with our radar. Were they turning away? Oh, I think we might have lost the stop. Are they still around? Yeah, they are. Okay, we can get rid of the vision range. We're not going to... Well, maybe it would be good to find them. Um, and we do need to make some course changes every now and then. Uh, simply because I'm afraid that they might be losing torpedoes on us. Rochester is also being hit by, what, 13 medium guns. That's a 6-inch shell that you're being hit with. So that's probably a light cruiser or something um, alike. But we've hit them pretty hard, I would think, at this point. Ooh, conning tower hit. Rochester, your crew quality has just been diminished drastically. So we've lost our captain, basically. That's no good. That's no good at all. Yeah, see, it's, it's taking longer to find itself. That was a very unlucky situation there. Ooh, we actually have them in sighting range. And we are being hit again. Critical hit. Two adjacent turrets being kicked out. Ooh. Ooh. These guys are lucky shots. We've, we've scored so many hits, but it seems like they are very much superior to us in that regard. And I think no one knows how to use the radar anymore. Can we find them? Yeah, we can. So basically our frontal turrets are... Only, it's only our frontal turrets in action, so we might as well directly drive at them. Supposingly like cruiser. This is the first time we know anything about its type. Uncertain target, come on, you're kidding me. Okay, there's a hit. There are further hits, and another hit on us with the turret destroyed. Jesus, just, just look at the marksmanship on these guys. Rochester near hit. Near miss, I mean. Um, you're going, what, I don't know actually, but let's dial down on our speed. We don't want to overtake them. We only have one turret left. And apparently we are overtaking them. And another turret is being destroyed. The off turret. I don't know how that happened. Okay, uh, max speed. More critical hits on these guys. Man, oh man. Okay, can we launch some torpedoes, please? Rochester took some extreme damage here. Crew quality minus two. So basically the captain and his replacement has have gone down. Okay, so these were lucky, lucky shots. That's that's amazing, actually. Okay, uh, let's try to run away. Maybe they've suffered enough damage to be sinking. I do not know. And go back to Starvang, I believe. Um, let's go 20 knots. Shouldn't take too much damage here. But this is, this is, we've been shot up so badly over here. Even, even though we've, put an enormous amount of, of bullets into them initially. Yeah, but they, they are considered to be more heavily damaged and they did not sink any of our ships, so that's nice. But yeah, what what was this? Soviet light cruiser. 15 six inch guns. Six, yeah. That does somewhat show why that is. Why, why they are Ooh, they actually suffered pretty badly. Oh, we should have stayed there. We would have been able to destroy them. But only one of their turrets was out of action. Yeah, their hit chance, th their hit percentage is so much higher than ours. We fired 500 rounds and scored 32 hits. They f <laughs> Yeah. Oh well, that's alright. Small stuff. Still a major victory for us. We are blockading the enemy, so all of that is good. Actually, that ship is extremely shot up, I think. Interestingly enough that they were over here. 
Okay, so they are indeed continuing this southern route. So uh, let's take all of the ships in the southern Pacific and move them towards the west coast instead. I hope that we're going to intercept them over there. We might actually want to move them towards the South American west coast. That is where we might intercept them. So not North American do go towards the South American west coast. There we are. Fine. Let's see whether that is going to come out as we hope. Turn out. I, I mean, right. Interestingly enough, the Lubang is currently considered obsolete. Uh, by the way, let's also uh, have a look at the design of the carrier because I would like to see what are you actually going to do with an angled flight deck. Do we have that over here? Flight deck, deck park. Let's see an angled flight deck. Is that an option that we have somewhere? At least I don't see it, and the spotting value here is not better than anything else. Maybe if we clear the catapults, can we do a... Uh, can we do this maybe on two port locations? Insufficient top side, yeah, that's okay. That shouldn't be the issue. Angled flight deck. I think it did say that that was something that. Angled flight deck. Enables angled flight deck. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be in the game as of now. Or at least I'm missing it, which is perfectly fine as well. Okay, let's see whether we can intercept them here or whether something is going to happen in Northern Europe. Independence and Constitution finishing their reconstruction. Diving shells, use of diving shells, okay. New flying boats, ooh, interesting as well. Right, so we had the Grumman Beer Cat, it's pretty old, six years by now. These guys have better speed, they don't have better range necessarily, except for this guy. You are capable of carrying a heavy bomb load, not quite maybe as heavy as this one, well, but this range is extremely good. Your cruise speed is somewhat lower. Yeah, but the range, we're going to keep that. The Buccaneer. Uh, delayed the development. Okay, that's unfortunate. We are sinking enemy submarines. That's lovely. And um, let's have a look at our aircraft types. So we have got this new fighter, uh, the Republic Harpoon. So I think it is time to phase out the... It's a little bit tougher than our current one. But other than that, our new one is strictly better, so we are going to consider this obsolete. And that's alright. Float plane scouts, I'm not going to get a new version of this. Flying birds, we do have a new version. Not sure whether it's a good time to upgrade our torpedo bombers. Right. Okay, so we have indeed um, moved into the same space over here, but we are not currently uh, doing anything against them. So um, let's take all of these guys. On the south, um, let's sort by location, it's easier this way. And we're going to move all of you guys north because that is how I expect them to travel. And we're going to see whether we can intercept them there. You guys are all good and ready. Oh no, your status did carry over to being repaired for two months. Well, well that's alright. Raleigh being repaired. At some point we have to consider the Lubang. Do refit there. Someone has condenser trouble. Improved airship diesel engines. That's that's hilarious. We are torpedoing someone. 90 points for blockade of the enemy. We have intercepted them here, but they are not engaging in battle. Why is that though? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe we don't have the right, or they maybe don't have the right mixture of um, ships, so that maybe they are not even. Um, moving. Yeah, let's move these ships towards the Caribbean. Do we have anyone on the east coast who should be moved to the Caribbean? Sort by type. 
uh, order by displacement actually. So you're on the east coast, it's still being repaired. You are on the east coast. It's a rolling class. Why are you on the east coast? Let's move you down towards the Caribbean. You are on the west coast, but you are being repaired. And we've got the Santa Ana on the west coast. Um, I think you might want to move towards northern Europe then. Yeah, that's fine though. Okay, let's see whether we can get them now. French carrier. Ooh. That's massive and it's very, very fast. 16 dual purpose guns, 84 aircraft. Quite a bit of stuff over there. Soviet torpedo bomber. Very high range. Gradion uh, accuracy, nice. We're losing a lot of corvettes. Another coastal raid. Um, let's attack near the objective. Okay, so what have we got this time? It's a little bit bigger. We've got our battleships out and in play. And we've got some carriers, but not that many, I'm afraid. So, yeah, still. So we've got the Ranger and the Enterprise. That's it. Okay, you're going to be a core part of the Enterprise. That's okay. And the Enterprise, you are currently supporting these guys. Um, I think it can be a core part of that, actually. Right, and then we've got a couple of smaller guys. Um, these destroyers, you're screening for them, that's okay. You're screening for the carriers as well. Can you maybe do, for the battle division, do the scouting? That'd be lovely. More destroyers, more light cruisers. These are sun classes, these are also sun classes. Um, so maybe you don't, you shouldn't do the scouting, you should actually do the screening. Yeah, that's fine, good. Okay, um, let's set up the search patrol. So over here, yeah, this is way too, way too broad. I think this is fine and maximum air patrol. You're gonna go this way. Um, yeah, let's launch float planes. It's not gonna take that month, that long. And you can sort of start to go this way. Let's see whether we get any reports. And um, we should actually prepare on our carrier divisions uh, pretty much everything. Don't we have fighters? Why don't we... Hmm. Interesting. Right, and then carry Division 9. You do have fighters, so that's nice to see. Heavy loadout over here. And we're going to ready that strike. Good. So, of course, still the risky option, but I think it would be good to just immediately launch if we do find someone. Um, especially their carriers. So if we do have these types of forces, uh, I very much expect them to have similar forces, uh, similar points as well. Let's go to very fast. Stop. Okay, first thing we are seeing is a destroyer over there. Uh, that doesn't concern me too, too much. We are supposed to sink two ships, and I mean, we can be happy if we are indeed sinking two ships. More destroyer reports over there. Not that important. A transport ship somewhere. Transport over there. Okay, so let's look at these guys over here. Carrier Division 9. Um, let's take these dive bombers and let's actually ask it to target these guys. Let's launch that strike. Time of day is still such that we are should be fine. Another transport up there. Light cruiser. Now this is more interesting. Don't know how accurate that is, but... More light cruisers. I'd be mostly concerned about carriers. If we do get note of a carrier, we should launch immediately. 
Okay, let's do five minute turns. Another five minute turn. So you guys are starting towards this direction. No word of any carriers yet. Okay, we are approaching enemy ship in this vicinity. I think it's probably... Yeah. Hey, ooh. Dive bomb enemy what? Enemy battleship? They don't have any battleships. I'm fairly confident of that. They certainly didn't rebuild the battleship in a couple of... What are you doing? That's hilarious. I'm fairly sure that you have not hit any any battleship. The only battleships in theaters are our own, and I very very much hope um, that you haven't that you aren't hitting those. Okay, let's try to find people over here. Float planes are being recovered. We really should stop using float planes at all. Stop. There's a ship down here. Light cruiser apparently. Don't quite believe this. Oh no, they do have light cruisers. We didn't ever see. Oh no, no, no. These are the raiders. Interesting. Corrado sights an unidentified ship over there. Okay, we've sunk these guys. An AV. I don't believe in AVs. They are a thing of the past. And I think we sunk a transport ship over there. Let's find out what this is, small merchantman. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we are sinking that guy. Transport ship. Definitely. Okay, let's sail due east. I think we might have a chance to find their carriers. It's a little bit awkward to be so strung out. Maybe we should sh slow down um, a little bit. Wait a minute, how have we launched it? Have we launched anyone? I don't think we have. Oh, these must be land-based bombers from Starving Air Base. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you over here. What are you bombing? Just light cruisers. Oh, that's fine. We don't really need to be too concerned with that. Ah, uh, nope. Not going to pick up survivors this time around. This merchantman is being wrecked. We don't have any reports of anything bigger than this yet. Nope. Let's try to find them. They must have some big ships. Okay, let's go faster. Ooh, something down there. It's very fast though, so honestly we should go and investigate. Unidentified ship. How far is night away? Very, not that far, so indeed we should maybe launch a strike. Seventeen dive bombers. Location down here. Landing time. Eh, it's going to be tough, but at dusk, not at night. Ah, but this is not worthwhile. Right. Accelerate time. Mm, we're not spotting them. They should be running against this coast. Someone is approaching the enemy. It's always good. From Narvik. Interesting. Really? I really wonder what that was. Narvik is very far away. Right. Okay, let's not try to chase the destroyer. Um, I would like to go over here because I think last time uh, we saw that the um, Soviet uh, aircraft carriers were over here. So and let's try to find out whether that is the case this time around. Another unidentified ship is there. Right. Let's try to find out what it is. It's certainly very fast. 
Okay, fast. There we go. I think we're spotting it every now and then. It's a very shallow waters. Stop. I think it's I think it's probably a destroyer, so I don't want to get too close to it. Yeah it is. But we're certainly putting something into it. Yeah, so basically these guys should go down. Yeah, so let's continue our way up there. There is night time. Is it December? I don't r quite remember. This is certainly weird. Weird daylight uh, circle here. Oh no, it must be the middle of summer because the night is, is starting at 11pm here or so. Yeah, very interesting. Midsummer Night's Battle. How fitting in June. Right, so you do have radar. So I would expect to find someone over here. No, stop. Um, I should actually check on this here. So let's do it like that. Right, and let's restart. Okay, I'm not finding anyone. Ooh, were there some reports? Yeah, only of destroyers. We know of those. More destroyers, a lot of them, but not critical. Transport ships. Proper daylight. No sign of enemy carriers. And there's an unidentified ship. Very slow. Yeah, it's a destroyer. Let's dial down on our speed a little bit. But it's not going to be crucial. Why are you so slow? Weird. What's that down there? Another unidentified ship. Okay. Uh, we're going to sell it force and then I think that was probably going to be it. Just wreck it please. Ooh, a lot of ships over here. Okay, you know what? Let's do launch a dive bomber. Strike on these guys. You are ready after all, so... Uh, yeah, that's simply location here. And let's uh, launch these strikes. Carry Division 9, you are still fine. So hopefully our aircraft are actually going to attack. Normally I don't like them to attack destroyers, uh, but this time around it might not be too bad. Yeah, seemingly a lot of these, these guys. Please don't torpedo me. Please don't. Maybe? Are we launching? Yeah, these guys are launching. They're trying to find the destroyers, so that's nice. Yeah, and I think they're doing a good job. No bomb hits now. None. Yeah, there's one. Another one. Couple. Good number of hits. Good stuff. So, yeah. And these bomb hits normally should take them out. Lots of destroyers, but really nothing else here. So, yeah, I think it's time to disengage. Our light cruisers here will make short work of these destroyers should they ever come into contact. So that's going to be alright. Yeah. Although I really don't know why you guys are so slow. Speed 5. No. I think it must be something with the la launch of the torpedo planes. Will you be going faster? Okay, now you're now you're running into these torpedoes, uh, into these destroyers. Hopefully not into torpedoes. Why are you going so slow? That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's go to ultra over here. Oh come on! Okay, 
Just chew them. This is a bit weird. I think this must be a mistake, so you know what? Uh, I'm gonna put in a cut here, and then if anything happens, uh, I'll let you know, otherwise I'll just jump back right at the end of the, uh, uh, at the end of the battle. Uh, okay, so here we are at the end. Um, San Angelo is torpedoed by an enemy submarine, and uh, it's only heavily damaged. Well, that's good to see. Uh, we've destroyed a couple of things. Indeed, their carriers were not around, so we, uh, not that, that big a deal. Uh, still a good victory. I'm uh, not going to remember that battle at all, but that's fine. Right, um, let's look at the map, see whether the Soviets are anywhere to be seen. No, not really. So, yeah, indeed, I think we can take all of our ships back from the Caribbean towards uh, our main area, which is, of course, the North American East Coast. And that's fine. So, yeah, with this, um, I think this is a very nice place to put in a cod. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.